The following program may contain subject matter and language suitable for mature audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. And welcome back to another amazing episode of The Meltdown. My name is Norm. And my name is Jeff. And today, oh, you know what I was going to do? I was going to do this. So I know we're on camera and I should be prepared. But today we're talking about oh. money. Money. If you'll notice, most of these are fives. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, that's my story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I mean, what are you going to do, right? You need money to live. You yeah. need money to survive. It's just a fact of this world that you, you actually can't really do anything without it. And you know when that, that old phrase, money doesn't buy happiness? Yeah. Um, that, that might be true in, in and of itself. Like just having a stack of money won't mm. make you happy, but I think money buys options. Yeah. And those options can make you happy. And I mean, you know, you gotta have it, right? We, we started talking about this topic uh, earlier, Jeff, because you know we were talking about the, the kind of salaries that these pro athletes make or some of these politicians or CEOs of companies. Yeah. Now, now, for the pro side, give me a pro argument about why an athlete should make millions and millions of dollars a year. Well, one point of view is that um, athletes in the NHL, Major League Baseball, etc., they generate revenue, they generate gate revenue, they generate advertising. And so therefore, if, if Josh Donaldson, who's actually having an off season, but you know, he's still an attraction for the Blue Jays, he's generating a, a, a huge amount of gate revenue. Yeah. So the Toronto Blue Jays are making money because of players like Josh Donaldson. Anyway, we've got some really interesting money fun facts today. Of course, we've got another meltdown minute with Lou and then we've got a really, really neat segment for our stupid stupidness, stupid things that people have done for <laughs> money. And I can't wait to see that. So hang around for that. So right now, let's go to some Meltdown Fun Facts. So here are some surprising uh, money fun facts. Okay. okay. First, a penny costs 2.4 cents to manufacture, <laughs> which is why we got rid of the penny. Mm. It, it just, it's not yeah. viable to, for it to cost more than it's worth, yeah. right? Yeah. Another fact, in the United States, the Bureau of Engraving and Printing uses 9.7 tons of ink oh. each day. Whoa. 9.7, almost 10 tons of ink every mm. single day. Wow. I wonder how much like, an average counterfeiter would use. I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. If you know the answer, email it into us. Uh, here's another fact. Canada has only had two banks fail since 1923. The U.S. has had more than 17,000. Mm. Wow. Think about that. Yeah. Now, why would Canadian banks be more successful? Is it just because we're, we're more polite and, <laughs> and, and we just, well, we just wouldn't let a bank fail? What do you think? Because you think Canadians aren't greedy. Yeah. Well, that's probably well, true. <laughs> There's probably a lot of greedy it, Canadians. It, yeah, but it's a different, it's a, it's a very pleasant greed. Yeah, it's that we a pleasant have. greed. It's an apologetic greed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're very pleasant <laughs> Sorry about for it. being greedy. Yes, I want everything, if you don't mind. <laughs> uh, okay, here's another one. Gambling generates more revenue each year than movies, spectator sports, theme parks, cruise ships, and recorded music combined. Wow. Oh. That doesn't surprise me at all. Yeah. Here's one that won't, well, it may not, may not surprise you, but it, it'll gross you out. 94% of bills are contaminated with bacteria. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. Um, people with their grubby hands. Here's an interesting fact. There is more Monopoly money printed every year than actual cash. <laughs> well, Imagine Monop that. Monopoly's still a popular game. So. Well, that goes without saying, Jeff. But I mean, there's <laughs> more Monopoly money printed every year than... <laughs> than real cash. That's kind of cool. You know, if Monopoly money ever becomes legal tender, I suddenly have savings. Okay, here's another interesting fact. A 2016 study named Vancouver Canada's first city of millionaires with the average household net worth hitting $136,000. British Columbia is home to the country's richest households, 
followed by Ontario. And that's our lovely little province. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't live in a home that expensive. <laughs> Uh, here we go. Um, oh, this is a, this is a neat fact. Uh, 90% of all U.S. bills have at least a trace of cocaine on them. <laughs> so. Well, I guess people are using those bills to buy their cocaine. And, and to cocaine roll it and roll. snort it and all that stuff. One other fact, only 8% of the world's currency is actual physical money. Yeah. 8%. That makes sense with yeah. credit cards and, and, you know. Yeah. Uh, being able to transfer money online, so yeah. Uh, you you talked about counterfeit before. Uh, North Korea is the largest counterfeiter of U.S. currency, so maybe maybe that's why they're having that meeting. Here's another <laughs> fact: 2004 was Canada's year of peak counterfeiting. 553,000 phony banknotes were passed. For every million in circulation that that year, nearly 500 bills were fake. Here's our last fact. The 2016 Fort McMurray wildfire is now officially Canada's costliest disaster. The Insurance Bureau of Canada revealed the blaze caused $3.6 billion of damage. Yeah. And that was quite a, quite a situation. Um, and not surprising that it cost that much. I mean, homes, businesses were decimated, forests were decimated. It was pretty bad. Anyway, now on to the lighter side of money. Here is a Meltdown Minute with Lou. For better or for worse, we live in a world that is seemingly motivated by money. Money makes the world go around. That's what they say, right? Greed is good. That's what they say. Well, I don't know if that's what they say. That's what Gordon Gekko and Wall Street said. And it's a movie, so I'm sure they're not lying to me. My point is, I understand desire versus need and I think we get those two confused right and I grew up poor man I know what it's like to want for things for sure this is how poor we were you ever see that movie uh, Oliver Twist where the kids at the front of the line he's like mo soup sir and the guy's like no soup for you that whole thing that kid used to call us and be like I want to lend you 10 bucks that's how poor we were we used to watch the Waltons and be like look at these lucky fucks poor is my point so I get it. I understand why people do things like play the lottery. Even though they know the odds are greater of them being bitch slapped by a drunk whale in roller skates, here's my money. And what's it say on money? In God we trust. Let me tell you something. When I do have money, I'm not sure I want God holding it because I've read the Old Testament and he's a little moody. Thanks very much, Lou. And now for some Meltdown Stupid Stupidness. <laughs> All right, so we have uh, 20 of the craziest things that people have done for money. All right, Jeff, you and I will check these out on the monitor, right. and uh, you at home will flash them up on the screen for you. Here's the first stupid stupidness, the craziest things people have done for money. Number one, my sister used to pay me 10 cents an hour to be her personal footrest <laughs> as she watched TV. Oh. I mean, hey, if you can, you know, if you can get a job like that. And then you're making money uh, by watching TV, essentially. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Uh, threw up in a beer mug and was told if I drank it, I'd get $200. <laughs> Made $200 that night. Oh, that's kind of disgusting. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Here's the next one. Hmm. I let a medical researcher inject me with salt water so that he could uh, record how much pain I was in. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> Just bite on a bullet and make that $50. Well, there you go. Okay, here's another one. I licked the floor of my school bus for 20 bucks. Not just a taste, a long drag on the bus floor. For 20 bucks, dude? I know. I would have done it for a lot more. Like $20,000? Maybe. Even then, it's still gross. Even then, but, and uh, then you go right to the hospital yeah. and you get checked out. Yeah, exactly. All right, here's another one. Uh, in university, a guy paid me $100 to study in his room. I didn't have to touch him or anything. He just thought my studying would rub off on him. <laughs> I think it says tutor. What? <laughs> tutor. You said touch. Oh! <laughs> the touch is more ironic, however. <laughs> I didn't have to touch him while I tutored him. What was I thinking? <laughs> I think I know what you're thinking. <laughs> where's my mind at? Okay, good. Good. Uh, yes, I... <laughs> Uh, tutor him or anything. All right, let's uh, <laughs> let's leave that one and go to the next one. <laughs> I ate a mixing spoon full of bacon grease for fifteen dollars and a five dollar coupon to Best Buy. <laughs> Apparently, my price is very low. <laughs> yeah, well, you, here's the here's the thing. 
you can't buy anything with a five dollar coupon for Best Buy. <laughs> like nothing. You no. need to renegotiate your yeah. prices. Fifty thousand dollars, and I'll lick up some bacon grease on a school bus floor. <laughs> school bus floor. Okay, here we go. Here's another one. Uh, I ate a used Band-Aid from the floor of the computer science room for $22. Now, what I like about this one, uh, $22? <laughs> like, who came up with that price? Do it for $20. No, no higher. $21. No higher. $22. Okay. So. I'll do it. <laughs> here's, an, here's another one. Uh, last night, my friend drank an entire bottle of boysenberry syrup from IHOP for $6. I have a video. It was amazing. <laughs> Once again, six dollars. No, five dollars? No, five fifty? No, six dollars? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Maybe it's the same guy. Yeah, uh, here's another one. I used to pay my little brother five cents a night to lay in my bed for twenty minutes before I got in it, so it would be nice and warm for Aww. me. And may I add, I didn't have to touch him or anything, <laughs> or tutor him, <laughs> or tutor him. I just had to lay there. So this kid made money by sleeping. Well, I wish I could get paid to sleep. I'd be really good yeah. at that. <laughs> All right, here's one more. I had a friend in college uh, who would search parking lots for receipts, steal the items on the list, then return those items for money. This was mostly at Walmart. <laughs> so, well, good for you for naming the store. Walmart people, get on that and mm. check for those receipts. You know, at the LCBO where I once worked one Christmas, uh, you know sometimes if you're in the LCBO, if you don't want your receipt, they'll rip the receipt. You yeah. Know, don't, that's because if somebody it falls on the floor and people pick up the receipt and right. they want to return something, that's why they rip the receipt. There you go. See, that's that, that should have been in our fun facts. You're right. <laughs> you're, well, a you late, Jeff. you're a bit late, Jeff. I know. Sorry. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm five minutes behind. <laughs> okay. Here is number 14. I ate a pig's eyeball for a hundred pounds. Mm, uh. Let's hope that wasn't right from a live pig. <laughs> Uh, next fact we have, uh, I once ate chewing tobacco until I vomited for $30. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's another one. I used to sell bags of moose poop to new kids at school in Alaska and pass them off as milk duds. <laughs> well, they do look the same. Yes. And I lied before. Uh, this is number 14. Uh, in high school, I was paid $8 to dance sensually to country music to get the ones playing it to turn it off. Ah, <laughs> uh, you must be a really bad sensual dancer. <laughs> Maybe like Elaine. Eh? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but I could, I could agree with this. Anything to stop country music is a good investment. Uh, okay, here's another one. Got paid $10 to put Legos inside my socks for 30 minutes and walk around like that. <laughs> Cool. Man, the things you can do with Lego. Oh, it's amazing. Amazing. Uh, okay, here's fact number 16. I sold a dead parakeet to a blind kid. <laughs> well, whoever did that, if you're watching, you're just mean. That yeah. was just mean. Uh, I pepper sprayed myself at a party for $35. <laughs> okay, here's number 18. I used to sell flowers on the side of the street in middle school. I uh, maintained my inventory from the flowers I took off of graveyards <laughs> at a local cemetery. I made thousands. <laughs> Finally, something that paid off. Uh, but <laughs> oh yeah, uh, there's a lack of terrible. respect there somewhere. Terrible, 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 terrible. All right, an enterprising young business person oh, stealing indeed. flowers from gravesites. Indeed. All right, here we go. I cut off my pinky for $15,000. <laughs> well, they say a pinky is actually useless. That's what would be more painful than body piercing. Well, kind of, yeah. And... All right, our last stupid stupidness for right. today. I sold my soul in 10-hour increments inside a cubicle for 18 years. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, well, there you go. Well, you know, when you think um, about it, right, you know, uh, some of the crazy things we do for money, but all of those things, we're motivated by money, right? Yeah, it's just exactly. become the thing that motivates us and everything. I think uh, major, you know, political decisions, sports decisions, you know, trades, right? Like all of that stuff, it's, it's all affecting the bottom line. How much are we going to net from this? It's a sad fact of life, but there you go. Uh, and Jeff and I, you know, we are, uh, you know, we're lucky that, that we can do this show for no money. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm lucky we're not yeah. making a cent. Yes, we are so <laughs> fortunate that yeah. 
Yes. You know, right. our our net worth has not increased <laughs> from the beginning of this program <laughs> till right now. Yeah. Yes. So we don't need an accountant. Our, no, our, our books are quite easy. They're to quite maintain. easy to maintain. There's one page; it's blank, uh, and we look at it every day, and you know, cry a bit. But then we we have fun with the show. So yeah, of course. Uh, and uh, I had fun today. I hope you had fun oh, today. Oh, definitely. And uh, we'll see you next time on The Meltdown. Till then, ciao. Bye.